What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Zai Mother Biggie. What's popping with it? How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's having a good day and or night. Send these positive vibes your way. Today, 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 what do I have today for you? It's yet another cooking video. Yes. If you want to see this cooking video, feel free to continue watching. Duh. Don't forget to give this video a like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and click that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a video. Let's get right on into it. Alright, so this video isn't really cooking necessarily. This is just chopping it up, finesse it to eat, you know? So today I'm going to show you how I make my tuna and how I like to eat my tuna when I have these ingredients. Um, sorry if you can hear the oven in the background, it's, you know, heating up the oven. So, got that going. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make my tuna, how my family likes to make it. Um, leave a comment down below if you tried this, met this method, if you tried it this way. Or if you have a different way of eating your tuna, let me know. Now this is gonna be the dorm style edition, so like the ingredients that we have are not gonna be any name brands. No, 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 they're not. No, they're not. They're gonna be brands from the Dollar Tree. But it's okay because it's the same exact thing. We're just eating it, whatever. So I'm gonna start with the tuna. I have a bumblebee in water went ahead and drained that i'm gonna put that in there in my bowl If y'all know about this chair that I got, y'all already know. Okay, I forgot. Okay, so I got my tuna in my bowl. We're gonna put this aside. We're gonna toss this. Definitely need to take out this trash. And then I'm gonna get to chop it. We gonna get the good old, this one is a, ooh, a yellow onion. Chop up the onion. Now, sorry, I never properly learned how to cut onions, but I do know how to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know how to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh. But yeah, so what's up? Damn, am I even about to cut all these? Interesting. so much I am about to put it in here. Onion. Then we're gonna go and do the regular, regular, schmegular. You're gonna add your mayonnaise or your miracle whips of what sort. I don't know what you need, whatever you prefer. I don't ever measure this, I just eyeball it, okay. Now, I don't have any mustard that is, that's in a 
container, but I do have these mustard packets from Chick-fil-A. We're going to add two of those mugs in here. I ain't got no relish. No relish. No pickles. No relish. Oh no. Oh no. We got sweet and sour. Yo. We got mayonnaise in the Mm. No relish. All right. Well, we're gonna put the we're gonna put the mustard in there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, we're gonna proceed with the black pepper. The black pepper. We're gonna put hella black pepper because remember I like pepper. Hella pepper. We got the granite salt. What bitch did you miss? Hello? Mm mm. Okay, I gotta get it. Just a little bit of that because I don't really mess with salt like that. Fun fact, back in the day, I used to eat salt like Lucas, just like in my hand, but now I don't. Oh, then we got some garlic pepper seasoning. We're gonna put it all over there. We're gonna put it all over there. I don't know if I'm just missing or what's going on, but. And then, of course, we're gonna add that. Cayenne pepper. Just a little douse of that. All right. So we got that. All right. Then we're going to mix. We normally would have relish in here, but we don't have it today. So that's fine. Whatever. We're going we to be then taste it. And now I know you're probably like, Zai, okay, everybody makes stay tuned like that with the look. Um, if you're trying to be fancy, you can also add some eggs in it, but I don't really ever do that because I don't ever have time to boil eggs, ever. So, there's one more ingredient, so let me bring the cutting board back out for you. My secret ingredient is drum roll please it is a granny smith apple you heard have y'all ever tried this let me know down below if y'all tried this because this is key but the uh, the sourness, the tartness, the meatiness, it's just bomb. Y'all have to try this. So what I'm going to do, let's get right into it. Now, we're going to just cut a little slice, slice, because like I said, I only have one can of tuna in there. Now, if you want, you can take the skin off. I personally don't care. Make sure you rinse your stuff off before, which I didn't do. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now, we're going to proceed to slice and dice. Slice, slice, and dice. Slice and dice. Let me show you. Slice, slice, and dice. I'm like...
I always taste your fruit and veggies. It's bomb. All right, I'm gonna just dice these right on up. Then proceed to put this in the tuna. Some of y'all might be like, oh my god, what the what the what the what the what the, what the, what the chill out like yo if you haven't tried it then you just don't know. Just don't know. Give it a good mix here and there. Ooh, best, best with crackers, best in in between bread. Add a slice of cheese if you want. Just bomb, y'all have to try it. Let me know down below if y'all try it and y'all like it or what's up. Let me know, cause this is bomb. At least to me it is. Just don't forget the relish next time if you want to, if you want to try this. Oh yeah, you can eat it just like this. So, anyways, that is how. Um, So yeah, that's how I make my tuna. What y'all think? I mean, let me know. Definitely taste it before y'all say anything because it's bomb diggity. Don't forget to give this video a good old thumbs up and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.